Welcome back, coaches and quarterbacks, to the Football HQ with Coach K Channel. I'm glad you're back. We're going to continue now with part 10 of QB School. And today we're going to talk about how to recognize a defensive front. We've mentioned a lot on defenses with coverages, um, but some coaches require their quarterbacks to have a knowledge of the defensive front they're seeing. And as you watch, especially um, the more advanced quarterbacks on TV, they're, they're calling out um, protections and they're, and they're telling um, linemen where different, different guys are. So we're going to get into the basics of that. Um, a lot of coaches will, will know this. And maybe, maybe you're a young coach and this will help you as well. But this is really um, for the quarterback knowledge. So let's go to that right now. Part 10, defensive fronts. the 10th installment of QB School, and we are talking about recognizing defensive fronts. And quarterbacks, the first thing you need to know is that offensive linemen will know that you describe where a defensive lineman is based on what's called a technique. It does not mean his skill, it means where he is lined up. So you see it right there, and there are some um, teams that will do it a little bit different, and it looks a little confusing, and it's not always... Um, the continuity among the numbers is a, little, is a little strange, but just work your way inside out. If somebody's in a zero, that means they're head up with your center, all right? And that is usually, uh, well, we'll get into that later, but usually in a three, four or a three front defense. If they are in a one, they are shaded to one side of your center, okay? Or they're in that gap um, in between the center and the guard. Um, you might hear that called a shade. Um, sometimes they'll say, hey, that, that defensive lineman's in a shade. That means he is um, on one side of your center or the other. Now, now we get into the eyes and it's a little confusing. So a two is head up with the guard. A two eye means two inside of the left guard. All right. A three um, means outside uh, or of any guard of the guard in the B gap. All right. So you have your zero, one, two, I, two, three, four, I means inside of your tackle. All right. Four is head up. Okay, five is um, like a typical defensive end position outside of your tackle. And then you get into some wider, and it's very strange, like here, right here, look at these different numbers. Um, I, you know, I don't know why they made these up, but a seven is inside of a tight end, a six is head up. Um, why isn't it a six I? I don't know, seven, nine. So that, and that might be different for different coaches. Um, the gaps are easy. You see those with the triangles, A gap, B gap, C gap. Um, you might just say this is an A gap run or a B gap run, or you might tell, hey, you know, the, the linebackers are shooting through the B gap. Um, so, you know, eventually you get to where you can recognize those pretty quickly. Um, as an offensive coach, you need to be able to do so. Um, as a quarterback, you need to pretty, you know, depending on your coach's expectations for you, um, maybe as well. So when describing a defensive front, the first thing you've got to say, and the most simple way to do it, is it an odd front? or an even front, and it's very, very simple. If there are three down linemen, it's called an odd front. So right here, we, I actually was, I just screenshotted a game I was watching. This is uh, Florida Atlantic on defense against Middle Tennessee State. Florida Atlantic in red has three down linemen and four linebackers, if you look pretty closely, and you see they're in a cover two look because their corners are under five yards and two high safeties. So this is a three, four cover two, an odd front is what you would call it. Um, and it, ma it matters to an offensive lineman because you have three down linemen you're responsible for. Um, you could also be in an odd front in a 3-3, three, three, um, but basically that, that's pretty simple how you do it. Um, and notice there, again, you've got the, the um, nose, looks like he is in a shade just to the left of the center's head, and then maybe you've got a five and a four eye. Uh, it's hard to tell from the from the side angle, so that's why a lot of defensive and offensive line coaches like the end zone view. Okay, and even front then same game, same team is four down linemen. All right, and even amount of down linemen. All right, but it's usually just three or four, and so and now you can see how they're aligned um, right here. You see Florida Atlantic is um, in an even front, so that again that matters to the offensive line. They now have four down linemen to be responsible for. All right, and that's the simple way to look at it. Let's, let's look at some different fronts, fronts you'll need to recognize. Let's take a look at some of the different fronts you'll see. So here is an even front, and it's pretty easy. It's a 4-4 four, four defense because you have um, four down linemen and you have your, uh, your four linebackers. And when you do have an even front, most of the time, okay, you're going to um, see a shade 
to the weak side of the defense, however they call it, a three tech to the strong side, and then two five techniques outside the, the shoulder of the tackles. That is pretty typical. Some teams might move this nose around a little bit, maybe, but I mean, for the most part, a one, a three, and two fives is a four, three, or a four, four defense, okay? But a four front, and even front looks that way. Again, you just count the linebackers there. You see Wisconsin's in a very tight formation. Um, otherwise, these corners would probably be a little wider. Um, we see one safety here. Um, his feet are right there. So it's 4-4. Four, four. This is 4-4 four, four, cover three. All right. Now, if you look at a 4-3 defense, all right, you see this is the Packers. Um, again, you see your one. You see your three, your five tech. Now, actually here, there's a tight end. So this could be a seven or a nine, depending on what you want to call it. Um, but he, he is there because of the tight end. So excuse me there. Um, three linebackers. So it's a 4-3. You know, pretty easy to identify there. Now he's standing up like a linebacker, but again, he's in an outside linebacker. He's in a defensive end um, alignment. So we still count him as defensive end most of the time. All right, an odd front. Now here's my team playing. Here's an end zone copy against a three, four. All right, so you've got the nose is head up or maybe shaded, but we call him head up. Defensive end here is in a five. Now on a three, four, the ends can be in different spots depending on the coach and the, and the, the theory of the defense. But in a three, four, um, you see him in a five and he's in a stand up five. All right. We've got wide splits because this guy is really good. We're trying to get him as far away from us as we can. Now you see, only, I say three, four, you only see two linebackers. Well, here's two linebackers are inside of our, our receivers. So you see the shadow of one there. This is a safety. So it's a three, four, two high look. But usually against a three, four defense, your linemen, since you only have five, are accountable for these five, for, for, the, for the five in the box. So that's a good look at a three, four. Um, but really, 3-2 is what the linemen are usually responsible for, unless you're running outside or wide zone. Um, but th that's a 3-4 look, all right? Now, here's my team again against a 3-3 three, three look, a 3-3 three, three stack. And those are not as common, but you see them more. And it's pretty easy, a 3-3, three, three, they're stacked up. So now this is a three front, but notice he's in a zero or a, he's head up. He is in a four, so he is head up with the tackle. And then over here, they are in a five, barely, but the linebackers are stacked up over them, hence the name 3-3 three, three stack. Um, or sometimes called 3-5-3, three, three, because there are there's two other outside linebackers not in the picture that make up the five linebackers that um, is in, in theory what it is. Just so you'll know, if you want to describe where a linebacker is, you know, if a so if a defensive lineman is in a um, is in a one technique, well, right behind him would be a 10 technique for the linebacker, right? 20, you're, you're, over, you're over the guard. 30, you're on the outside shoulder of the guard. So you just add a zero to whatever alignment the linebacker is in behind the defensive line, or you know not behind him, but where the defensive lineman would be. So you just add a zero. So this is a 3-3 three, three stack. And those are really the most common defenses you'll see. Um, now, I will throw one curveball at you real quick. Before we get into that curveball I mentioned, let's just look a little bit at some fronts from the Go Army Edge view. So a um, little quiz here, just, just take a look at the, the front and tell me what you see as far as the defensive line and the linebackers, the front, um, the front seven. And you should say you see a 4-3 defense because you see a shade, a three, um, two fives, and then you have three linebackers. So that's pretty easy. It's a 4-3 defense, um, not hard to identify. So um, let's go on to the next one. Okay, the next one, it's very hard to see, but there is a nose right there in a zero all right so as you look at the defense you should see a three four all right it's a little hard with the software here but th these two are safeties all right see he's at 10 he's at about nine so then you have your four linebackers right here um and you have the zeros and looks like five techniques just on the outside shoulder there so it's a three four now let's here's the curveball that i wanted to mention Okay, so you might look up here and you might, um, three, four defenses especially, that they, they like to blitz a lot. Um, you're gonna, one of those four linebackers is usually gonna be sent or walked up early. So right here, you might wanna say you see a forefront or an even front, um, but for the offensive line purposes, that usually is not the case. Um, this is still a linebacker. He has just walked up from where he was a moment ago. Um, their techniques are still the same on the three front, on the odd front. So. This would still be, to most coaches, um, an odd front. Um, if there's a coach out there who sees it differently, that's great. Uh, give me a comment, let me know, let's talk about that. I, I just, that's how I usually see it. Um, again, that doesn't really affect um, the offensive line usually, except for if you're running outside zone 
where you, where you want to have him step to the outside linebacker. But again, that but the blocking scheme is still the same whether he's up here. Um, usually, um, maybe the technique is different, the attack is different, but the steps, but the same otherwise. All right, let's do one more. Okay, now they're both walked up, but still it's four linebackers and it's three down linemen. So again, same thing, a little bit of a curve ball. You can call that a five, two, you can call it a three, four, you can call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. But again, you still have the same techniques on the defensive line. So the blocking schemes are gonna be mostly the same. Now, you, again, you've got to worry about you know, is he just, are they, are they going to just come right off the edge and, and, and tackle your um, ball carrier in the backfield, of course. Um, and there's some things to do that you'll do differently about that. But again, for the most part, it's still a three, four. Um, if you want to call it a five, two, you can, but it is not a four front. Um, it is not an even front. It's still an odd front. So um, that's the, uh, that's the overview of defensive fronts. Hope that helped a little bit. Again, I hope you subscribe. Um, come back to the channel. I'm excited about where it's going. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks a lot.